living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive in that better day I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days I'm kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard, or live at my pace? You're only young once yeah, that's all great, but I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait, no, it's living with no shame Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well, I just wanna be happy How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days, yeah, all I need are some better days, cause all I want. Y'all buy that? It seems like a super cop out, but what if it isn't? What does appear true is Dante is claiming that he is the creator of all the Shu God-like creatures. He can do whatever he wants with them, and Gira has that same ability. So... Dante controls Gira to summon King Ogre to destroy things all while the background moves at a crisp three frames per second. But wait, the Shugan are fighting back and Gira name drops them all using sure will to overcome Dante. Rain job! Boy, boy, boy. How conflicted I was with this episode. My first watch, I was disgusted. I absolutely hated this episode. With more watches, I actually disliked it even more. Then I slept on it. Literally. I, I took a nap like a couple hours ago just trying to gather. You're welcome, commentator. I'm fine. I'm fine. Wait, what? That's it! We are the Arblazar! <laughs> Do you think I am? Storm Shiva? Truth be told, this was going to be my first ever F rating. But I have it in my hearts of hearts that Gira's backstory was a fabrication by Raculus, as Dugdead really seemed to be ad libbing the points Raculus was laying out. We have to remember the DNA test that was done on Gira back in the early episodes to show that he was indeed Raculus' brother. Though, I still believe that there's more to this backstory than meets the eye. As in a previous review, we have ourselves yet another Goku protagonist within the same year that will essentially be a god. And due to it, we can start seeing him do asshole abilities. Essentially, being able to just one-shot gestures himself. But, like I said, I am of the belief that none of this is actually real. And why is that? Because this episode seemed to also emphasize more that Gira is essentially Kuwaga. Since, look, while Doug Dead explained that he can control and do whatever he wants with the Shu God, he later demonstrated that he could also control Gira. Meaning, if his abilities are to control other arthropodic creations that are his, Gira being an extension of Kuogon could make the most sense when breaking things down. Now look, this plot point here is one of the big reasons why I'm so down on this episode. But it's not the only reason. That was the only funny part about the entire show. Outside of that, everything else just was either lackluster or just very hard to swallow in terms of what they're feeding you. Really, this episode can get bumped up to a C 
or drop down to an F, all depending on how they handled this whole dud that slow plot point. Now, for those of you that watched my Kamen Rider Geese review, I'm having a similar moment to back when I thought that Neon was a biz ass song. But prior to it, they made a state that it was Lobo, and I gave that episode a very low score. But due to the following episode fixing things, it made the previous episode actually much better. See, chat, twice to talk to people about their thoughts regarding this episode. I saw some people's first impressions when they watched the wall the previous night. I even watched Ash, the Yahtzee360's review, just to gauge his thoughts. Though, on his side of things, he believes that this entire Doug Dead plot point seems to be the genuine article. But I still hope that it's a complete fabrication. Though, if this is indeed all an act, then it also points more and more to Raculous just playing 4D chess with everyone. And we start debating on the whole Raculous redemption potential of it all. Which one? I I've seen the Luke pictures for next week's episode. And... So seriously, what do you all of this before we get into it on Friday's Tokutonic shift? But outside of that, what did you also think? about the mini crossover in general, as well as the pacing of it all. Anyway, that's it for me. Until next time, bye.